Hazel's Snow White Story. One starry night, Hazel was reading her favorite storybook, but soon she felt sleepy and went to bed. She was in a deep sleep, when suddenly the window was wide open and a fierce wind blew in. While rearranging her books, to her surprise, she saw gold rays coming out of one of the books from the top shelf. had she spoken those words, that magical rays appeared again, and two tiny men emerged from the book. <gasps> who, who are you? And what are you doing here? Hi, Hazel. I am Gordy. Hi there, sweet girl. I am Witty, and we both have come from the world of Snow White. <gasps> Snow White's world? Really? Yes! <gasps> wow! Thank you! <laughs> Hazel was not afraid anymore, because Witty and Glutty seemed to be funny, and their magic tricks were extraordinary. Wow, oh, it's so huge. I really wish that I could visit your magical world. Will you take me along with you? Yes, why not? But why are you so curious to go and see our world? I want to see this mysterious world, and I'm also eager to meet the beautiful princess, Snow White. had a solution to every problem.
cloud enveloped Hazel and transformed her into a tiny, sleeping baby. <laughs> other side of the magical world, there lived a wise king and his pretty wife, who was expecting a child soon. Darling, the food was delicious. Thank you, honey. But now it's time for you to rest. Oh, yes. Honey, just a moment. Before we go, I have a surprise for you. I wish for us to always be happy like this. <laughs> Darling, I wish for our baby to be as white as snow, for her lips as red as cherries, and her hair to be as black as midnight. Oh, darling, I hope for the same. Lavender blue, dilly dilly. Lavender green, I am your king. Dilly dilly, you are my queen. At last, a loud wail was heard from the queen's chambers, and all were delighted at the arrival of their baby princess. Hooray! Welcome, my darling princess. What do you think we should name her? I love you. Hmm. We'll name her Snow White. Footsteps startle huh? Bloody, and he disappears in a hurry. Wow! 
Wow! How wonderfully my queen has decorated the room! How did the king manage to decorate this room so quickly? Both the king and queen were unaware of the fact that Witty had decorated the room. However, because they thought that one of them may have decorated it, they just smiled lovingly at each other. <sighs> Days passed by happily. Even though the little princess was a bit naughty, she sure was the apple of her parents' eyes. Over the next few years, Snow White not only grew to be very beautiful, like her mother, but she wanted to be brave, like her father too. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I know you're my brave daughter. Bravo! Welcome, Jasmine. How are you? I am fine, Your Highness. I have got a gift for you. Thank you, Jasmine. It's so beautiful! Where did you get this from? I visited a carnival in our neighboring kingdom. I know you love to plant flowers, so got this pot for you. A carnival? Wow! Snow White was ecstatic, hearing the news of carnival. I have to leave now, Your Highness. I'll see you soon. Bye, Jasmine! Father, can we go to carnival, please? Sure, sweetheart. Attention! His Majesty and Your Highness Snow White will arrive here soon! Everyone was overjoyed hearing the news, but an old woman who was making pots on a wheel was not only surprised, but shocked too. The old lady was none other than an evil, cunning witch. Your Majesty. Father, let's make some pots on wheel. It'll be fun. Ha ha ha! Sure, darling. <sighs> it's an honor to have you at my shop, Your Majesty. Hmm? Your Majesty. <sighs> the witch was now red with anger and didn't know what to do. She wanted the king's attention at any cost. I need to distract the princess to get the king's attention.
tiniest ice cream. <laughs> Are you the owner of this shop too? Yes, Your Highness. Which flavor would Your Highness like to have? Chocolate, strawberry, or blueberry? Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Suddenly, the king was besotted <laughs> by her beauty. Snow White was happy to see her father, but soon, her smile faded at the sight of the witch. Father, who is she? I think I've seen her before. We met her at the carnival, remember? We have gotten married, so she is your stepmother. <gasps> Sweetheart, her beauty has enthralled me. I know you're sad, but your mother will always hold a special place in my heart. Hello, Snow White. Hello. <laughs> Bruno! Bruno! How are you, Snow White's mother? As you can see, I'm the queen of this kingdom. Beautiful, ravishing, lovely queen. <laughs> How can I forget the day when I trapped you? Who is trying to open this window? How dare you come inside without my permission? Oh my. 
my, someone is at the door. I need to transform quickly. attempts, she finally created a formula that made her beautiful again. Finally, I'm the fairest queen of all! Now I can show the power of my eternal beauty! Save this potion. I may need it in the future. Welcome, stepmother, to our kingdom. Why, thank you, sweetheart. These flowers are gorgeous. Aww. Mother, why have you chopped these birdies? Oh, Terry, I love them, so I keep them inside this cage. Mother, if you don't mind, may I keep them, please? Oh, I won't mind at all. On the wall, who is the fairest one of all? You, my queen, are the fairest of all. I hope these negotiations will help to prosper both our kingdoms. <gasps> oh heavens, she is so beautiful! Ha ha ha! That's my lovely daughter, Snow White! She is so beautiful.
mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? My queen, you are the fairest here, so true. But Snow White in the palace is more beautiful than you. Huntsman at your service, your majesty. Jeffrey, you must put Snow White in a deep slumber and make sure she never wakes up. And don't forget to bring me her heart. But, but, but I, I, her, her highness. Yes, your majesty. Sorry, Snow White. I was just following your stepmother's orders. What? What are you talking about? Please, Snow White. I request that you leave your kingdom and never come back. Run! Run, run, run as, as fast, fast as you can! can. Run! run. to release these animals. <gasps> One should not harm or trap innocent animals. <laughs> White remembered about her little furry friend and looked here and there. Where has Squirey gone? You go and find your friend. I'll take care of him. Come, friends. Let's go and find him. entered the little cottage, she was shocked to see that this cottage, which seemed so beautiful from outside, was a complete mess inside. Oh my! Look at this heap of dirty dishes! Huh, such small beds. Seven beds, seven plates, and seven chairs! I wonder who lives in this cottage? Uh, uh, phew. <coughs> it's so dusty around here. Let's clean this cottage, shall we? I'm so tired. 
Thank you, Squirry. Unaware of someone sleeping in their cottage, the seven dwarfs were on their way back home. Who is she? Why is she here? Why is she sleeping in my bed? Isn't she beautiful? Look around! She has also tidied our home! Oh yes! Now our home looks neat and clean! Who are you, child? And what are you doing in our cottage? I am Snow White. My cruel stepmother wants to harm me, so I ran from my kingdom. And while looking for shelter in forest, I came across your house. Aww. Don't worry, dear. You can stay here as long as you want. Oh yes, you can stay as long as you want, but make sure you prepare yummy food for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be happy to cook for you all. <laughs> and, well, you all know my name. I need to know yours too. Hi, I'm Gluddy. I'm Testy. <laughs> I'm Drowsy. Hello, I'm Witty. I'm Bitty and he is Itty. No, no, no. He is Bitty. I'm Itty. Ugh. Ignore them. I'm Teensy. <laughs> Snow White happily cooked a delicious meal for her new friends, who not only cared for her, but also gave her shelter. Yum! It's so delicious! Mmm! It's so yummy! <laughs> Back at the castle, the witch queen was admiring herself in the mirror when Huntsman came to visit her holding the antique box in his hand. Your Majesty, as per your command, Snow White will no longer be a problem for you. Mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? My queen, you are the fairest here, so true. But Snow White in the dwarf house is more beautiful than you. performed her wicked sorcery, and with its help, she created a poison apple to harm Snow White.
get ready to sleep for a long, long time, Snow White. <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? Oh my! Of course you can! Snow White and the Prince were happily enjoying the swing while holding hands with her little dog, who was singing a merry tune. You look so beautiful! Wait, please, listen to me. I have something for you. You have captivated me by your beauty. Will you be mine, O oh fair maiden? I would love to be yours. Lavender blue Dilly dilly, lavender green. I am your king. Dilly dilly, you are my queen. Lavender green, dilly dilly, lavender blue. You are my love. Dilly dilly, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Your Highness, His Majesty has summoned you. Okay. My love, I have to go, but I'll be back soon. All the forest animals were relaxing around the cottage when suddenly a fierce wind blew, bringing the evil witch on top of a flying lizard. <laughs> and someone please offer this old lady a glass of water. woman, and I stay in the woods. <coughs> Can you please give me a glass of water? I am really thirsty. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You have a kind heart. 
I must repay you for your generosity. Please, don't! I am happy to help you! Please, child. Just have one bite of this juicy apple. Thank you! Yes, yes, he's fine. Here, my dear child, have another one. Ah. As soon as she took a bite, she started to feel dizzy. <laughs> Now, I am the most beautiful of all. <laughs> What's wrong with Snow White? <gasps> Oh, heavens! Snow White will never, ever wake up! <gasps> Let's keep Snow White in the glass bed where she'll be warm and comfortable. Yes! yes. The dwarfs kept Snow White in a glass bed and sadly wept sitting around her. Even the forest animals cried for their dear friend. <gasps> What's going on here? Oh, Prince, the Queen has been successful in harming Snow White. Oh no! What's wrong? Let me see! Snow White, my love, please wake up. You can't leave me like this. Huh? What is this? Huh? Huh? Mm. This is a poisoned apple, and I am sure where it came from. Mm -hmm. I have got an idea to bring back Snow White from her deep sleep. Gently, the prince put Snow White down and curiously looked at the dwarfs talking among themselves. Kiss this heart with love and care, and she'll revive with a true prayer. My love. What happened? Do you remember anything? Yes, I do. My stepmother deceived me as an old woman and tricked me into eating a poison apple. Huh? 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 Don't you worry, Snow White. The evil queen will pay for her wickedness. Mm. Back at the castle, 
The king was deeply worried about his darling daughter, as it had been several days, and Snow White was nowhere to be found. Did you find my daughter? No, your majesty. We have checked everywhere in our kingdom. Hmm. Hmm? Your majesty, we are magicians and we have come from a far away land. The king was not in the mood for entertainment but thought that maybe a magic trick would bring his daughter back. Wonderful! Show us all a magic trick. <laughs> Your Majesty, we know that your queen craves for eternal beauty. Oh, yes, yes! Of course I do! Oh, mighty king, this is a small snippet. Our magic gets more powerful in sunlight, and we are sure you'll offer us a generous reward for it. <laughs> My king, please allow them to perform their marvelous magic. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Let's go and see your magic. Of course, your majesty. The king and queen boarded the royal carriage. Along with both dwarf magicians, they rode towards the sunny meadows. Your Majesty, please remove your hood, or our magic won't work. Your Majesty, let him go. We are about to start our magic. What have you done to my queen? makes her beautiful and hides her true face. No! Finally, the evil witch was decimated for her wrongdoings. Her wicked spell was broken, and the real queen was rescued as well. The queen was transformed back into her true self, and Snow White couldn't contain her joy for getting her mother back. Last, the day arrived when the prince proposed to Snow White for marriage. Snow White accepted the prince's proposal, and the entire kingdom celebrated their grand wedding. And they lived happily ever after. Lavender blue, dilly dilly, lavender green. I am your king, dearly, dearly, you are my queen. Lavender green, dearly, dearly, lavender blue. You are my love, dearly, dearly, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you.
Once upon a time, there lived a man in his lovely house with his beautiful wife. They were soon expecting a little bundle of joy. In front of their house, there was a very huge mansion. Splendid Rapunzel herbs grew in the mansion's garden. But no one dared to go there as this mansion belonged to a sorceress named Gothel. One fine morning, the wife was feeling extremely anxious and was unable to eat anything. So in order to get some fresh air, the wife went towards the balcony. Hmm? <laughs> Darling, look at that baby! Indeed, that's an adorable baby! The wife was completely mesmerized by the baby and the little kids playing around. Soon her gaze fell on fresh and crisp Rapunzel leaves in front of her big mansion. Wow, those Rapunzel leaves look so fresh and crisp. I wish to have those leaves as salad for dinner tonight. When the husband heard his wife's mm. wish, he panicked and tried to convince her against her wish. My dear wife, those Rapunzel leaves belong to the vile sorceress Gothel. It is impossible to go there. Mm. The husband tried his best to lure his beloved wife with other sweet treats, but the wife was adamant and demanded Rapunzel leaves from him. Sweetheart, please try to understand. Please try to understand. I strongly desire those leaves. Huh. Unable to see his wife's tears, loving husband agreed to fulfill her wish. Husband approached the sorceress and asked her to lend him some Rapunzel leaves. Oh, how headstrong that sorceress was, for she denied to give him even a single leaf. But the husband mm. was not going to take no for an answer, as he knew how his wife craved those Rapunzel leaves, so he decided to steal those Rapunzel leaves. When it was late in the night, the young man sneaked into the mansion and quickly began to pluck those Rapunzel leaves. Rapunzel leaves, fresh and crisp, only for my <laughs> darling wife. Wife made herself a nice salad from Rapunzel leaves and ate it to her heart's content. How did you dare come into my garden and steal my Rapunzel leaves? Oh, please, forgive me, Gothel. My, my pregnant wife saw those leaves and... She craved for it desperately. Listening to the pleading husband, Gothel's mind began to weave a nasty plan. With a wicked smile on her face, she said, Fine, but in one condition, you must give me your child. No, I can't do that. No. If you do not give me the child, then the consequences would be terrible. <laughs> no. Threatened by Gothel's warning, the husband finally agreed to Gothel's demand. <laughs> the moment their baby was born, the couple tried to flee the town and escape from Gothel. We need to leave as soon as possible, else Gothel will snatch our baby from us! <gasps> no, please don't do this! Gothel carefully looked at the baby and decided a name for her. Rapunzel, that will be your name for those with the leaves that your mother craved for. Gothel took very good care of the baby as if her own. 
Years had passed and the little baby grew to be the most beautiful girl under the care of Gothel. Her long hair was as magnificent as spun gold. <laughs> One day, when Gothel was brushing Rapunzel's beautiful long hair, an old man appeared in their room. <laughs> this old man was a great magician and was, in fact, Gothel's master. My dear ladies, it is now time for both of you to come and live in my splendid tower. It is about time that I rest my old bones and relax for a while. So take good care of this tower. But I warn you, Gothel, if you do not take good care of my tower, you will have to face my wrath! Master, do not worry. I promise to take good care of your tower. Gothel told Rapunzel that she needs to go to market. Rapunzel couldn't help but wonder how Gothel was planning to get down from his huge tower. Rapunzel, the very instant I return, I'll shout loud. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Immediately, you must let down your hair for me to climb back to the tower. Okay. Rapunzel would entertain herself by singing beautiful songs for herself as she spent her time alone in the huge tower. Roses are red. Sugar is sweet, and so are you. I wonder who is singing this beautiful song. It looks like the sound is coming from that tower. Hiding behind a tree, Prince was enjoying Rapunzel's song. Suddenly, he saw Gothel calling out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! Huh? The next day, when Gothel had gone out, Rapunzel was engrossed singing a merry tune. Roses are red. Suddenly, she heard a loud voice. Violets Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair! As soon as the beautiful tresses cascaded down, Prince held onto it and climbed up the tall tower. <gasps> hey, please do not be scared. Think of me as your good friend. Your melodious voice is what brought me here. Ew. Young lady, what keeps you in this tall, mysterious tower? The tower belongs to a great magician who appointed Gothel as the caretaker of this tower. He also warned her that if she won't take good care of the tower, she would have to face his wrath. Gothel is not my mother. She snatched me from my parents when I was just a little baby. 
She's been taking care of me and my hair ever since. Took care of you? But didn't she snatch you from your real parents? Yes. With the help of my hair, she climbs up and down this tower. That's the reason I'm trapped in this tall tower. Take my word, my lady. I will rescue you from here. With a promise to rescue her from the tall tower, Prince climbed down with a smile on his face. Oh, but little did they know that Gothel had seen the prince sneaking out of the tower. <sighs> you ungrateful child! I thought I kept you away from the rest of the world! But no, you've betrayed me. Gothel punished Rapunzel by taking her to a barren <laughs> desert and abandoned her there so that no one would ever find her. <sighs> Unaware of what had transpired between Gothel and Rapunzel, the prince visited the tower and called out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. But to his horror, Prince was greeted by the dangerous sorceress, Gothel. Hair there! I know you come for Rapunzel, but she does not live here anymore! Gothel pushed the Prince from the tall tower, badly injuring him. Yet, the brave Prince gathered his soldiers and went looking for Rapunzel. The prince looked for Rapunzel throughout the kingdom, in the deserts, fields, and forests. Huh? Finally, while traveling through the desert, he heard the song that Rapunzel would sing all the time. The prince and his guards began destroying the tall tower, which Gothel was supposed to take care of. Gothel tried her best to stop the guards from ruining the tower, but it was all in vain. The magician appeared there and could not behold his tower getting destroyed. Boiling with anger, the magician punished Gothel and left the place. The prince reunited Rapunzel with her parents and they lived happily ever after.